Hello everyone, this is Martin and welcome to another weekly video. This one is ABC Free Signals. That's my program guys and this is a review of the free signals I sent out to you on March 14th to the 18th. Now take a look right over here at my trading buddy. He's a Ukrainian soldier on the battlefield and see how proud and confident and relaxed he is. He's taking a deep breath as the war in Ukraine rages on for the fourth week. In trading, the volatility is high with huge raging candles. As a trader, you're thinking that things aren't that bad. In fact, your trading account has survived and you haven't lost your money. That's great. Now, for me, this past trading week was really quiet as far as making money in Forex. We didn't lose any money. And in fact, we increased our earnings by just a wee bit. I'm happy about that and after several volatile weeks all of you can reflect upon what has happened to you to your own trading and how has the volatility affected, affected you. Are you okay? This past four weeks proved that we can trade in any market, any market condition, crazy or not. Personally, I prefer trading volatile markets and be ready for anything the markets can throw back at us. For now, we can take a deep breath, relax a bit, and enjoy the trading process. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, past week's free trade signals. Okay, once again, this is me, and uh, I'm the originator of the ABC Free Fork Signals, guys. If you want to receive my free signals without any conditions, without you having to pay anything, they're absolutely free without any con uh, conditions or... Um, uh, or obligations on your end, guys. Just send me your email address and uh, you can send it to here, mskyj007 at gmail.com. I'll have more on this later. And as you can see, guys, I'm a proud Canadian trader. Here's the Maple Leaf, the Canadian Maple Leaf. Okay, so uh, just before we look at the free trade signals I sent out to you, we're going to look at the charts. I want you to pause just for a moment, take a look at my humble disclaimer. And the most important thing, guys, is that my free signal service is an educational program only. I'm trying to teach you how to trade correctly and not give you any specific investment advice, right? So uh, you can pause it and read further if you want. Now, let's get on to the good stuff, okay? This is what happened this past week. Uh, from the previous week, there are no trades held open, okay? And this past week, uh, on March the 14th, I sent out a very first signal. That was the Monday this past week. It was, uh, um, it was by... USD CAD guys I took the trade it ended up losing we're going to take a look at the chart it actually lost quite a bit 140 pips and yet perhaps I we could have lessened the loss just a wee bit but we have some hard and fast rules guys and we know when we have to close a trade so we'll look at the chart in just a moment uh, price did um, uh, uh, hit will actually close below the DTL line. Uh, on March the 15th, the next day, I sent out another signal, guys, and I take all these signals along with you, okay? So it was to buy the British pound, Japanese yen, guys. This was a huge winner for approximately 173 pips. You can see that right there. And uh, guys, it did hit our second take profit, and uh, the British pound appreciated over the Japanese yen by 1.16%. Okay, so this was a terrific win, guys. Okay, now the next day on the Wednesday, March 16th, um, I got back to the office uh, uh, really late in the evening and there are no trades, uh, so I didn't send any trades at all. Okay, and on the 17th, the, that was the Thursday, I basically uh, sent signals for two trade suggestions uh, one was the buy euro Japanese yen and the other one was for the sell Japanese, um, I'm sorry, the sell British pound against the Australian dollar. Uh, you could have taken both of them. You could have taken one of them. Uh, currently right now they're both open. They were not closed this past week. Uh, the euro Japanese yen, the buy on that currency pair is now is in profit for approximately 21 pips. It didn't move that much. So it was really quiet. 
and the sell British pound against the Australian dollar. That's still open. It isn't profit currently right now for 69 pips. And uh, I'm going to show you my charts. I've still got these two trades open, guys. And uh, I'm uh, just uh, thinking that they still will hit at least our first take profit targets over uh, when the market opens on Sunday uh, over the Monday session. Okay. So this recent week, um, Taking a look here, we lost 140 pips on this trade. We won 173 pips. So we made approximately 33 pips, guys. And now uh, for uh, uh, for 13 for the past 13 weeks, uh, since the beginning of October, we are now up 3,637 pips, guys. That's amazing. We're averaging approximately 279 pips uh, per week. Okay, so... That is what happened this past week. Let's get right to the charts, guys. I'm really excited to uh, uh, show you this. And uh, uh, the very first one is the buy US CAD. Okay, so taking a look at our, uh, this is our entry window, okay? And I'm just gonna open that up, enlarge it. So you can see here's the signal on this, the close of this candle, okay? So you can see with this green line, there's the signals right there. Uh, the only thing is on the, on the, this is the daily chart, by the way. Okay. Uh, we have a black line here, but it, it's above the 50. Okay. And this is our cycling indicator price cycling up or down. Okay. And, uh, here we on this, the close of this candle, this is our momentum indicator, guys. So we had a big white, uh, um, white bullish momentum histogram bar okay so things basically look pretty good i mean look price went down and then we had this huge huge candle it was also an engulfing candle it completely the body of this candle completely engulfed the body of this the previous candle right so uh again taking a look guys here is our entry our first take profit second take profit and our stop loss down down here okay so this is the entry okay and now let's take a look at the uh, at exactly what happened okay i'm just gonna close this down and take a look so we got in here at the black line you see right there and price did go up didn't quite would see the upper shadow or wick here on this black uh candle um it did go up but did not reach your first take profit and then come came completely down and closed right here okay so uh and uh i issued out a uh, email saying that if price closed below this the detail line right here the detail if price reversed from our buy if price reverses and closes below the detail line we will now manually close the trade it did it closed right there guys and that's when you had to close the trade it is a loss Okay, we had a stop loss here anyways at 1.2677, but this was a big loss, guys. And uh, I guess, I guess what we could have done is when this candle came down here, I mean, uh, until a candle crosses and closes below the DTL, I'm not panicking at all, but we could have moved the stop loss just maybe a wee bit higher to just, uh, under under this white candle okay so we might have saved about 35 pips or so by doing that okay anyways a loss is a loss we put it in the past we learn from what what's going on and by the way the vip members are going to get a little bit of a lesson on looking at the weekly chart and upon reflection the weekly chart shows that this was kind of a weak buy signal anyways so this is for the vip members okay but anyways uh, you can turn to the weekly charts take a look yourself and see what you can see what are the clues that show that perhaps this was just a weak buy signal okay so let's uh, uh turn it off and let's continue right to the uh, next chart and the next day was this amazing successful sale uh, buy signal uh, I send out the signal to buy the British pound, Japanese yen, guys. Uh, let's take a look right here as we enlarge the entry window. Okay, so here's the line. This is the signal candle, guys. Okay, and even though you don't see any signal here at all, I mean, it looks really good. It looks really good below with our cycle indicator and our momentum. You can see momentum is increasing. Okay, increasing to the upside. And uh, 
So I issued out a uh, buy signal at the end of the day uh, for this candle, okay, or the um, right here, the beginning of that can candle. We're, we're trading on the daily charts. Um, um, we're in the same time frame here in Toronto, Canada as New York, uh, as the New York time zone. So uh, each candle closes at approximately 5 p.m. Uh, um, uh, time zone, Eastern Standard Time, okay? And so it would have gotten in here. The entry was 154.26. Our first take profit, 154.97. Our second take profit, 155.48. Our stop loss, 152.31. Guys, I give you all this information. All you have to do is just open up the trade and then apply the uh, uh, profit targets on your uh, trading platform along with the stop loss in case price comes all the way back down here, okay? So that is our uh, entry window, guys. Let's uh, minimize that. Let's take a look. We got in, uh, you can see we got in at our entry, 154.26, okay, approximately there, okay? And you can see that, on, when we got in on that day, uh, uh, price really, really just shot up to the moon right over here. Okay. And, uh, it was a terrific, terrific, uh, um, it, it closed right here way beyond our second take profit of 155.48. Now, some of you, uh, could, could have kept the, uh, trade open. Okay. And when you do that, uh, because price actually hit our second take profit and went higher, you would immediately move your stop loss all the way up just above your second take profit. In fact, I, 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 uh, sent out an email saying that it should be about 20 pips above the 155.48 level. Okay. So you can read your emails again and take a look. So, uh, and if you would have kept it open, then price would have gone up, uh, even higher. But I'm, uh, uh, I'm using the second take profit level as my, uh, take profit for purpose of the analysis and the statistics I offer, uh, uh offered earlier on the slide. So this was a huge gain, guys, 170 something pips, and it completely negated the, the big loss on the previous trade, which was the, uh, um by us cad okay so great great trade there guys let's close this down and continue okay and uh let me just remove that now we go on to uh wednesday there were no trades uh signals i came home late to the uh, uh to, to back to my office a little bit later in the day did not want to uh, provide you with any signals so on thursday the next day on the i believe it that's the march 17th I sent out a free signal, actually two of them for you to consider. Buy Euro Japanese Yen, guys. We're going to look at that. And the other one was the buy, or I'm sorry, the sell British pound Australian dollars. So let's all open up the buy uh, Euro Japanese Yen for the uh, uh, entry. Let's take a look. So with this line, you can see here was the entry, okay, um, at the close of that candle, okay, close of that candle. Or the opening of the next candle that's what my charts look like because i take a picture i take the screen capture uh when i'm ready to send out the signal just to show you what i'm seeing okay and there's complete transparency guys so there's no fooling around i'm not doctoring anything you can look at your charts and uh, see this is what happened so this was on march the 17th there's the buy entry 131.44 you can see the two take profit levels take profit one take profit two the stop loss guys let's uh close this down let's see what happened guys and uh, we got in here and uh on this day you can see and price has gone up just a wee bit i there's uh, some like 29 pips or something like that so it's still in profit but it has not gone up far enough. So I call that kind of a resting candle, guys. Um, price is resting, taking a breather, and I still expect price over the uh, market opening market session Sunday and Monday to go higher and to reach at least our first take profit area, okay? So that was the first signal I sent out, but on the same email, guys, I also showed you this one. The sell British pound australian dollar and uh, let's take a look here this is our our 
entry window, okay, right here. So this is so this is our uh, signal candle right here with this big black bearish candle. Uh, you can see um, it closed near it. Uh, the close of this candle was near the bottom of its range. So it's a very powerful uh, momentum type of candle, guys. It's black here. You can see here. The momentum histo bars are black as well. So this is the entry, 178.40. Our first take profit target, 177.26. Our second take profit, 176.39, guys. And our stop loss, 181.13. There's absolutely no excuse for not knowing where to put your stop loss. I know that is one of the biggest questions that traders ask. Where do I put my stop loss? Well, guys, I'm giving you the stop loss. Enter this in your your trading platform along with the, uh, the the entry immediately you can put in your stop loss you're not going to go wrong guys and uh, I'm just trying to trying to teach you how to trade correctly okay so let's close this entry window you can see we got in at the close of this big black bearish candle or the open of the next one guys right there and you can see it's gone down I believe it's for around 45 or 49 pips already so it's gone down quite uh quite a bit i is it 49 let me let me just take a look hang on um let me go back up to the okay yeah it's 69 pips in profit you can see that right there okay so let's uh go back to that uh, and uh it looks like it's going to come down at least to hit our first take profit target uh if it does or even if it hits our second profit that there's going to be a lot of pips this, this will be a huge win because this uh, currency pair, British pound, Australian dollar, is a big volatility mover. It gen generally moves for 120, 130 pips or more in a day. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Again, it's kind of resting. I'm looking at the left right here. This is kind of near support, but it's not major support. Okay, and uh, I mean, price... For prices to move, they either have to break through resistance, right? They uh, often have to uh, break through resistance or break through support, okay? And uh, otherwise, price would never move. It always would be just ranging sideways, right? So um, this is what I'm expecting. These are our profit levels right here, guys. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, the trades are open by me okay there's still i i actually took both just uh just to give you uh full transparency i took the buy uh euro japanese yen trade and i took this one to sell british pound australian so let's see what happens as the market opens this uh sunday uh going into monday okay so that is pretty well it guys uh one more last thing and uh this is uh, because we're talking about the volatility in the markets, we've been talking about that over the last few weeks. Uh, basically, volatility does bring opportunities, but here's my message regarding markets, okay? Uh, and it's some quotes, some famous quotes from some of these famous traders. Uh, from the first one here, the market can stay irrational longer then you can stay solvent now what that means is you'll be broke before the before the markets correct and behave normally okay so just keep that in mind if you're thinking that the markets are up and down and irrational and very volatile well that that can go on for a very long time much longer than you can keep the money in your pocket okay next uh uh trader michael carr here he says, don't worry about what the markets are going to do, okay? Worry about what you are going to do in response to the markets. And that's why I asked you earlier, over the past few weeks, how did you feel about the volatility? Uh, how have you reacted? Are you okay? You know, uh, I think you can pretty well guess that I'm doing okay. Uh, most of us are doing okay. We don't care what the markets throw at us, whether they're, they are volatile or quiet. It doesn't really matter. But guys, this is a really good quote. So think about what you're going to do in response to the markets. Never think about what the markets are doing to you. And finally, by another famous trader. Uh, and this is, uh, this is, uh, it's a really good one. I love this because there's a bit of humor in this. If most traders would learn to sit on their hands 50% of the time, they would make a lot more money, right? Okay. Do you, you know what that means, don't you? 
uh, like a lot of traders, too many traders are too, uh, they, they want to, they want to make too many trades. They want to over trade. They're greedy. I mean, their emotions are hitting them, uh, and, uh, their fingers are pushing the buy, buy or sell, sell, sell buttons, right? So, uh, this is, I love this because, like I said, I love the humor in it. Uh, again, learn to sit on your hands for 50% of the time and you'll end up making a lot more money by not losing money. Okay. That's really what that means. So finally, VIP members are getting a video lesson on using the weekly charts to help determine which currency pairs to trade. Okay. So they're getting an extra bonus video. Uh, those are the, those are for the VIP members everyone else watching this video is just receiving my basic free signals okay so that's it guys for this week hopefully you truly enjoyed this video if you want my free trade signals send me your email address it's that simple uh, there's no obligation there's no credit card uh, form to fill out there's no money to pay nothing guys you can watch my free signals for a while and if you don't like them then you can toss them aside i don't care um i've been highly successful for almost uh, for more than one and a half uh years now guys almost an 80 percent winning ratio so there you go and we're talking about trading on the daily charts we're not talking about trading intraday or scalping or you having to watch the charts all day on your computer nothing like that it's uh, uh almost stress-free trading okay so no obligation it's totally free send me your email address to to mine right here you can see that mskyj 007 at gmail.com again mskyj 007 at gmail.com when you send me your email give me your first name guys i i'd like to know who you are so send me your first name and uh, if you're from a different country outside canada let me know what country you're uh you're from okay so that is it cheers from canada guys talk to you again in the next video click on the like button that's below this video it helps me understand you guys appreciate my weekly videos and uh, and uh, discussing the trade signals i sent to you so there you go guys cheers if you're a new member you can subscribe and hit the bell take care we'll talk to you again in next week's video bye for now